Hey guys, welcome back to Red Iron Adventure. My name is Brian. This is our house being built by America's Home Place on the west side of Houston, Austin County area. Uh, today we are out here kind of just taking a look at what's going on. Um, I had a little bit of time in the middle of the day, thought I'd stop by and I'm excited because the painters are actually inside doing the interior paint. Um, and then I also kind of wanted to show you guys what we're thinking with our fence. So uh, let's, get, uh, let's get going, let's take a look and uh, see what we can cover today. guys like I said my name is Brian this is our house we're out here in Austin County uh, this is a Murray floor plan by America's home place it's a uh, about 1980 square feet so just under 2,000 it is a four bed two bath and uh, we have gone with the Borden batten uh, siding so it's got uh, that kind of that farmhouse look my wife did want to have it painted gray which I think was a wise choice she also wanted uh, to have stained cedar uh, for the post and then we've got some shutters that are going to be going up here in the next couple days hopefully um, those are already on site and built they just need to be installed uh, so like I said earlier we do have the painters inside today they are um, working on the interior walls um, and trim the trim got finished installing uh, I guess yesterday afternoon would have been Thursday evening um, today's Friday the painters are already out here and they are uh, man, they're going to town. Um, it's really cool to see how quickly this process is happening. Uh, we've been really pleased with, with that. Uh, the other thing I did want to show you guys is a little bit about what we are thinking with our fence. Um, so we have gone back and forth on this a lot. Um, we are planning to do the fence ourselves, and with the help of a, a couple friends um, we really wanted something that wasn't going to block our view so we don't want like a white picket fence and we definitely don't want a privacy fence that is not at all what we're going for um, we wanted something God, man i i really i wanted a three rail but i, I think what we're probably going to end up with is something that's like a, a a welded wire fence like a hog panel fence or something like that uh, with a wooden frame around it um, I'm gonna put a picture right here so you guys can kind of see what it's gonna look like this is kind of what I'm thinking we'll we'll have um, as far as the um, layout of where it will be we really talked a lot a lot a lot a lot about where the fence is going to be how long it's going to be how much do we want a fence in of our property right now versus down the road um, for animals or other activities um, right now the primary focus for us is to create a enclosed space for our dog uh, bailey is an awesome dog but she's not very well trained um, in terms of you know just letting her off the leash and letting her run so we want a, clay, uh, a closed in space that she can come out to, run around outside, have that um, yard that uh, we used to have when we lived in, in suburbia, um, but also keep her up pretty close to the house because we don't want her way out at the, the end of the property, uh, just because we like having her up close and we want to give her enough space to be able to have her her bathroom so to speak uh, as well um, so what we've decided to do is we're gonna come out from the house uh, on on the one side um, about eight feet and then we're gonna start the fence it's gonna come down about another 24 feet out from the front of the property or I'm sorry from the front of the house and then it goes all the way across the front of the home and then it's going to enclose uh, what will eventually be our um, entertaining area which is on this side of the house so from the from the left to the right of the property or the the south to the north i guess as the directional uh information goes or the direction goes um it will be about a hundred and fifty feet i believe is the the stretch and then going back towards the back portion of the house it's going to be about another 70 feet all in we're looking at if i remember correctly i think it was like 250 feet of fence line roughly um, so it will circle around from this side of the house out the front and then all along the front here and then we'll go up on the back side and uh, circle in so she, she'll have access to our entertaining space so when we're out here um, when we do fire pits and things like that she'll be able to get out here with us um, we did come out here and we staked out a rough outline of what we're looking for we were able to measure and kind of get an idea of how big and how much we're going to have to do it is going to be a little bit of work it's not the end of the world but it's probably more than uh one weekend so i'm okay with that uh, we do have a friend who's gonna come out with his tractor and uh, he's got a, a an auger attachment on it so that's gonna make setting the post 
a whole lot easier because I don't want to dig those by hand. That that would be awful. Uh, so I think it's roughly between 35 and 40 posts that need to be set. Um, so we're pretty we're pretty excited about being able to use his equipment. Um, and then as far as building the panels, we're going to build those on site and uh, stretch out that uh, hog panel, hog wire, and uh, go ahead and close those in and uh, make a couple gates. And that's what we're looking at doing. So um, this area right here, uh, the driveway is back where the, the trucks are. Um, and it goes out that way to the road. Uh, but this area right here, what we'd like to do is we'd like to come in with a, uh, a skid steer or a tractor with a bucket and scrape it clean. We wanna scrape a lot of it down. We wanna level it out to make sure that it's got a nice grade to it so that it's not just becoming a, uh, a flood zone for water. Um, and then we, we wanna put in gravel to make a fire pit um, and a little entertaining area out there. And then we're gonna string um, the uh, party lights up in the trees and over to the house and then right behind me in this area right here will be a 15 by 25 foot concrete pad uh, for um, a table and our grill and some other things like that um, so this will be kind of the, the fire pit and then this will be like the seating and dining so um, we're really excited about that can't wait for them to come out they're gonna have to bring in some additional dirt to build this up um, so that it can be level with the, uh, the porches but uh, yeah, that's what we've got going on. Um, let us know what you think of our plan. If you have any suggestions or ideas about the fence or about the fire pit area, um, definitely let us know uh, how we can do that more efficiently. Uh, we are trying to cash flow that project. That's why we're doing it ourselves. We're gonna try and save as much money as we can um, just so that we can uh, throw as much money as we can at the house and pay it off as quick as we can as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I know this one's a little bit longer than normal, but I hope uh, it was, entertaining I guess at least um, so we'll catch you guys next time thanks a lot hopefully I will be able to show you in the next video what all the painting on the inside looks like because it'll be done and uh, should be done in the next day or two all right until then we'll see you later